Hello again, it's me on another Bulb Log Video Diary Supplement. This time I'm going to look in the bulb houses, the sand, mostly the sand plunges. Because I did say my last talk, I mentioned them briefly and pass as I passed them, that I'd come and have a look. So, starting here in the in the first sand plunge bed we ever planted, the U-shaped one, and it, it, it's rather I'm starting to call it now the Narcissus Jungle because things have grown so well over the number of years that these have been planted but they've got denser and denser and there's probably just too many despite the fact that I took some out over the last few years I need to start thinking and thinning you, you learn, when you do something new you learn and often having less is more this is a nice Form. This is the Narcissus Hybrid Dawnstead. Really nice bulbico it's a Bulbicodium Cantabricus hybrid. Very distinctive. So even amongst all these others, I can pick it out. But if we look at the you can see that the, the, the main flowering is past now for the Narcissus. This has been flowering, the first flowers, Narcissus flowers appeared here in September. And it's been flowering since, since September. And here we are now in, into March. And there's still flowers. And there will still be more to come. It's certainly not over yet. So that's that one. And if we move round to the, some of the propagating area, there's pots of seedlings down here. But let's trot over to the next house, the bulb house. Where the plants are growing in pots and we've all sorts in here here's see one of my own pot here of a few this is a Narcissa Creighton Bell it's a Bulbicodium hybrid with with that complex of Romoxii and everything else here we have a nice group of Narcissus Bulbicodium really nice clump there in a pot and some of the, the first of the, I think this is now called Confucius. I knew it as Perez Shitsicano, but I think it's now aim Narcissus Confucius. There's more to come out there. It's just coming now. So that's the trumpet daffodils just coming out. Different ones down here. This is another really nice little hybrid of bulb hybrid or form of bulbicodium. Really compact and tense colour. Very floriferous as you can see. Which makes it really nice. Come around here. This is a... Um, Mon Dieu. And I think because the size of it is the reason for the name. It's, it's a really large flower. And if we come around here this is from a seedling from the, this is off of JCA 805 of Narcissus Ramoxi. And this is the form that should be, that comes under the title Julia Jane. So much of what I see labelled Julia Jane is wrong. It's not Julia Jane. Julia Jane, as originally described, has to have this very open, ro almost rolled back as it matures, petunioid flower with very, very exerted stamens and style. So if, if you've got something that's Julia Jane that maybe looks more like that or something else, then it, it's not. Up here, another trumpet daffodil. So the, these are the, this is Cedric Morris, probably a form of Asturiensis or something. So that's a little group of Cedric Morris. Here's another. Cedric Morris over here, which has been open since December. And we never get seed off of Cedric Morris. And because the plant never sets seed, it never gets the message it's done, the flower's done its job, so it just keeps flowering and flowering, it just keeps going. There's some little Cantabricus down here, just coming out. Round here, oh. Dear mate, we've got some 
snowdrops here needing a drink. But the same round here, lots of pots, things of, that have flowered, autumn flowering things, things going over and some still to come out, There's some frittle areas down in here. There's another pot there with some Dawn, the Narcissus Dawn Stead. So that's the, the bulb house with pots. And as we walk out into the garden, we'll just come past the, the different beds here. And look up, it, it's a nice day at the moment. We've had a very cold, cloudy, damp, raw week of weather with the temperature barely reaching, I think the warmest we got was 5 degrees. But mostly it was colder than that and with the wind and the dampness it felt an awful lot colder. So it's nice to have a cold morning, it's frosty. A lot of the, uh, a lot of the snowdrops and the flowers were lying on the ground when I first got up this morning. But now the frost's coming out of the ground and they're sitting up. So I want to go into the other bulb house. This is, this is the one that I did after the U-shaped one down there. This, it's, it's a bigger U but it's three individual stages. And I'd learnt the lesson from the first one to space things out a bit more and learnt some planting methods better so I, I, I could better control what's in here. So let's have a look at what's here and, and my intention is I'm just going to move a watering can here so I don't fall over it. The intention is in here is to, is to have interest for as many weeks or months of the year as we can and in actual fact in this house we, we have had something in flower every month of the year. Obviously some months are more floriferous like just now. And the beauty of the Narcissus here is that more spaced out they don't have to compete for light the same and they can grow nice and short and compact like this little fella down here. An iris reticulatus. He's raised from wild collected seed. And it's, again it's, it's mostly the Narcissus at the moment. And they give us such a long season, flowering through the winter. Here's some crocus that I've gone over, came out, crocus oliviria. But earlier in the season there was a lot of the, the paler coloured narcissus, but at this season we get a lot more of the, the deep yellow ones. And up here some Crocus, these are Crocus Seabari, and I, I really just so love this Seabari with this expanded, incredibly frilly style. It, it really has the stigma, three stigma surfaces frilled out like that. It, it's really quite, they're not all like that because they're different seedlings, so some are slightly different, but that, that particular one has really got exaggerated. And then we have some of the paler ones, possibly got some Cantabricus in these. And then we need to come right down here to the front, some Narcissus Asturiensis. Really tiny again, look here's my hand coming in, so really short and compact. And that's just on one side, up the, the mesh of the wall, this Tropiolum Azurium and Tropiolum Tricolor. But it is, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely way to grow them. Some more of the, those wild collected iris. This end, there's been more frittle areas in here and they're just coming through now. So there's nothing yet in flower but they, they are pushing through. So there were originally fewer Narcissus but I'm starting to pop in Narcissus to give us interest in flower in here a bit earlier. So it's it's like all gardening, it's a case of experimenting. Here's some more, this one's just going over 
another crocus seabori, different seedlings, they're just going over, and some more little narcissus there. And then round to this bed we've got a wide range of narcissus and many other plants. There's seabori atticus down here, different forms of atticus going over, up here. I just love this. This one, if I come around here, we can get the two into focus, maybe. This is a um, Narcissus Eualbidus is, is the name that it goes under. A really nice upward facing flowers. Pure white, corona and petals. Very exerted style. There's another one in there. So that's Eualbidus. I just love it. And you can see the whiteness when you, you see it against the, the Bulbicodium types, the yellower ones. And then something that's probably got Romoxia in it, flat face. But there are, it, it, it is such a, a jumbled mess this. Here's one upward pointing. So that's often described as Romoxia riffinus, slightly smaller flowers facing upwards with the exerted styles. There is some talk and some opinion that, that riffing it, that this is actually a hybrid between possibly a Bulbicodium or something and Narcissus eualbidus. And, and you can see the similarity, they're very, apart from the colour, they're similar. However, I really not sure we're ever going to get fully to the bottom of the relationship between all these, but they are all beautiful. Here's a Cantabricus in here, the pure white. You can start to spot them. And some more crocus coming here, and more fritillarias starting to come. This is one, there's a hole here, I just separated this out, I found this in when I took some of the bulbs out of the other house, I put some in a pot just as mixed and this came up and this is a nice form of Cantabricus. Looks like it's going to be Cantabricus petunioides. So I, I, I took it out of the pot and put it into this sand bed. So that's why it's a bit floppy at the moment. <coughs> Crocus. I still refer to this, knew this as Svitsi. But it's um, it's now got a new name, Gram. Oh, I, I would be telling Gram Gramineus or something. I need to check up on the the current standing. And out here, this is a. What can I see here? I can't see anything. I'm trying to see on the screen what I'm showing you. Not easy. There we go. There's this lovely little narcissus. Not making it, not in a position that makes it easy for me to, to get in to see or focus on. So that's the a short wander round. More crocus by Flores types there. So quite a quite a lot of go, has gone over, but again in here there's an awful lot more. We're going to have interest all all through the season. Crocuses. If the sun if the sun stays out until the afternoon when it gets round to hit the bulb house, this house, these crocus will open. But the the forecast is for the to cloud over later this morning. Up here we've got the Tropiolum trichalorum growing all up this side. So that's the same, that's the other bulb house where the plants are growing in the sand plunge beds. Really nice way, as I say, to, to grow them. You don't have to repot them every year. And the would, advice I would give is space them out. Don't be too ambitious. Don't stick too much in in the first place. That's the mistake I made with the first one. This is much nicer than the other ones all crammed together. Although having said that, the other house when it comes out, the first ones when it's September, October, November and December, when it's it's a mass of flowers, 
Narcissus flowers. It is quite a display. But these, this range, this variation, just so beautiful. So I think that I'll leave you. Say thank you for joining me. And I look forward to your company in my next video diary supplement. Which will almost certainly be walking around in the garden. As more plants come out.